All right, let's get you started writing your first gray spot. So the first thing you're going to see on the left is a, an item called bots. This is where you're going to create the bot itself. And um, we're going to create one for Harper Urgent Care Clinic. Now in our bot, the first thing we can do is set its persona and personality. So we're gonna keep the name as Grace, and we're going to say it's Harper Urgent Care Clinic. And she's going to be a front desk manager. This helps her stay within character for your business and for the role that she's playing. We also have control over her personality, including how efficient, casual, professional, succinct, and fluid she is. Um, we're going ahead and just leave it like this for now. The second thing we need to do is use something called playbooks. So you can see that on the left here. Playbooks define the business logic flow of your bot, and it is software used by Grace bots to know what to do. It does not define what your bot is though. And so we're going to start by creating the Harper Care Playbook. We'll start by giving it a greeting. Say, hi, you've reached Harper Care. We can give her next steps. These are the things that she can possibly do next. Someone could be calling to schedule an appointment. Um, you can say, how can I help you today? Um, someone could also maybe be calling to, let's say, get test results. And then maybe let's also have billing questions. These are each called playbook pages, and they are run top to bottom. So you see the page, then the connectors where you connect to outside systems like spreadsheets or other software. Then there's the script, what she has to say. Then optionally, you could have a form. And then finally, the next steps that we just did. So now we're gonna move on to schedule an appointment and we're going to ask a couple questions. So let me ask a few questions. And so we're gonna create a form now. And we're gonna start with, um, what's your name? We just select full name, call that, call our name. We have to give it a variable. This is a tag that's used to reference this value later in the flow. Um, we can also ask, are you a new or returning patient? And we can make this multiple choice and say new or returning. We'll call this new or returning. So we can reference it. And then next we can uh, maybe ask, uh, what issues are you having? And we'll just leave this as a text field. Just let someone say whatever they wanna say. And then finally, maybe we can ask, um, uh, like what's a good phone number to reach you at? And we can um, say that we want this to be a phone number. All right, um, so now maybe once we've submitted this form, we can say submitted, and we can make this an outcome page, meaning this is where the uh, call ends for that case, and say, okay, we've set up your appointment. Um, and um, you know what, actually, before we do that, we have to get their date and time. So let's do uh, date and time and say what date and time works for you. And uh, we just leave that like this. And then we can submit it, okay? And we can reference these variables now. So I'm gonna say, uh, call her name. You've been booked for date and time. Thank you for using Harper Care scheduled. All right, now obviously if you have other um, calendar systems you want to integrate with, you would use a connector to get calendar slots, but we're just, in this case, just asking for their preference and maybe we would call them back. Um, we would go ahead and, and, and onboard these other cases uh, separately, but we're gonna go ahead and, and jump ahead. The third item that you can use for onboarding gray spots is something called the knowledge base. You'll see that on the left here where it says knowledge bases. Now, a knowledge base is just information that Grace can use uh, and reference to answer questions, which is a common thing that you want a bot to do. So we're going to make a plain text document source called Harper Care FAQ. And we are going to create a new document. And I've put in an FAQ here from Harper Care's website. We're going to save that. And then after, after you have all your documents, and this can be from text documents, from websites, 
uh, we're going to having click index, and this is going to uh, get into a search index for Grace. All right, so the final step is we want to start talking to Grace, testing this, something we'll call a coaching session. So Grace learns from her playbook, she learns from her knowledge base, and she learns from direct coaching. And so what we do is we do calls with Grace, we click start a coaching session, we select a knowledge base and a playbook. All right, we're going to click start a coaching session and we're going to attach our playbook and our FAQ and we're going to go ahead and click start. And we can either use the browser or we can call in. So I'm going to call in here. Please enter the passcode for this session. Hi, you've reached Harper Care. How can I help you today? Um, I uh, just wanted to uh, get an appointment. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. Okay, let me ask a few questions. What's your name? Uh, my name is Anthony Johnson. Let's see, are you a new or a returning patient? Um, I've never been to the clinic before. All right. What issues are you having? Um, well, I woke up this morning and I have a runny nose and I also have some, um, maybe a bit of a headache. What's a good phone number to reach you at? Um, you can reach me at 818-349-2433. Okay. You said 818-349-2433. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. What date and time worked for you? Um, well, I think um, I would like to go in maybe uh, today uh, after 4 p.m. if that works. Let's see. Okay, Anthony Johnson, you've been booked for after 4 p.m. Thank you for using Harper Care. All right, there we go. So if there's anything that we wanted to correct, this would be the place to do it. So um, for instance, uh, if we wanted to change any of her answers or how she filled out the form. So let's say that instead of just saying new, we wanted to say new patient. That'll teach her next time how to fill out this form. You can see at the top it's saying studying. All right, so in this case, um, I asked for instance about the uh, date they're open. Now it's gotten this from the knowledge base where we have the hours here. And we can look at that. And if we aren't happy with her answer, we could correct it in the knowledge base or we could also coach a different response. Maybe we like the information, but we don't like how she phrased it we can just basically say we're open to 8 p.m. Maybe that's something that we would prefer. And so that again is being studied. Now the last step is if you want to get this into telephony and you're going to have to click on call flows on the left here. And we're going to create a call flow and this shows the flow through the telephony path. And we're going to call it Harper phone inbound. We're going to create a flow here. And we're going to start by purchasing a phone number. So we'll click purchase. And you can set whatever area code you prefer. Now after the inlet, we're going to hook up the bot we just created. We're going to select the bot, its knowledge base, and its playbook. The bot defines the personality, persona, and the training. The knowledge base, the documents, and the playbook, the flow. And together that forms a completely authored Grace bot. We can also give more descriptions. So we can say intake for patients. And we can say at this step, Grace triages the patients and sends them along to the proper route. Now in this case, we only have authored um, a, few, a few parts of the bot, but if I refresh here, you can see we have a special outcome for scheduled. So let's say after we schedule it, we wanna then route the call out to our number to a person to handle patient onboarding. So we could put our number here. So we could say plus one, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now this is gonna route this out to our number. Now let's say by contrast, the default is we wanna just hang up. So now we have different routes based on what happens with our bot. We can click save. And so now the last step is we can actually try calling our newly created phone number which is a number you could either route to or list publicly. Harper Care, how can I help you today? All right. Now, once your number is live, uh, we can go ahead and make sure that we have our billing set up. So we offer several different packages, which you can select in the billing page that's under account. You can also add other users under user settings and organization, and you can manage permission and also look at past calls up here under analytics. So that's a quick walkthrough of 
creating your first bot. And if you need any other information, you can check out docs.gridspace.com uh, and obviously reach out to uh, Gridspace directly. So thank you very much.